Hello Super Sentai fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at another entry in the Shoto Super line of candy toy figures from Japan. Uh, so this one is definitely an interesting one because it is of course one of the smaller figures. It has a very tiny box here. Uh, but this is a very cool one uh, because it goes very nicely with a set that just recently released. Uh, which I'm going to be taking a look at on the channel relatively soon. And that is Shoto Super Kaka Ranger. Uh, but basically kind of to go around the time frame of that. And sort of because I didn't want to include it as like a main like sixth member because there's always kind of a debate on if he counts or not. Uh, this is everybody's favorite ninja from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Ninja Man. So I got a pretty good deal on this one. I think I paid like 30 something for it, which, you know, could be worse. It could be better. Uh, but as you can see, it's a very thin box compared to everything else. And that's because like he's barely taking up any space in here. So they did the same thing uh, with this guy with the Duke Org Groki and Bio Hunter Silva. Like, it just takes up way too much space for this, and it's really a waste, but I don't know. We'll put that off to the side, uh, because here it is. Here's a little candy toy figure of Shoto Super Ninja Man, and obviously, as you can see, it's just a nice little figure. You know, it's a nice little box, uh, but what's also fantastic about this is that if you're not familiar with this line, uh, first of all, I've done a whole series of these videos on the channel. I'm trying to kind of go through everything with this line because uh, I really, really, really like it. Uh, but this one here essentially has no stickers as far as I can tell or as far as I remember, which is always a plus, a fully ready to go figure. You still have to like cut hands and stuff off of sprues. Uh, but if you have the set of Kaka Ranger or you just want this to go with like your G Rangers and I guess your Die Rangers as well for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you could do that. Uh, but this is really cool. And what's also neat about it is that this one cannot transform into Samurai Man. And so to remedy that, they released alongside this an SMP version that was a little bit more keen to the original like 90s toy that could transform and stuff like that. But this is supposed to be a figure of Ninja Man first and foremost uh, and can't do the transformation. And I think that that was a good way to do it. So there he is on the front, obviously with his pose, you got the nice moon back there. And just for a nice comparison, just so you can kind of see how nice it is that uh, they kind of theme these together. Here <laughs> is Kaka Ranger. And as you can see, the boxes are the same height. So you can almost kind of form Kind of a not fully complete picture because obviously the, there's like two moons here when you do that but it's really cool uh, that you can kind of have this whole little setup and you know make it kind of match i think it's just a really neat way to do this this kind of thing so one of the many reasons many many reasons why i love shoto super so much so take a look at the box as well we have him up there posed you get his little vase that he comes in or that he's trapped in with the little hammer and him inside of that uh, as you can see accessories wise you have a holster for his sword and a couple swappable hands and then there he is doing a nice little pose and everything that he comes with and he does come with a tiny version of his bottle so i'm uh, gonna go ahead and grab my cutters and we're gonna open this guy up so here is shoto super ninja man out of the box and of course being a candy toy item you do get a piece of candy and then here is his accessories load out here so they do have some gold paint and silver paint already applied so you just have to cut those off the sprues and then you get a bunch of hands for him there plenty and plenty and plenty of hands and then the man himself and his little jar and the little hammer for the jar as well is right here here is a beautifully articulated, beautifully detailed figure of Ninja Man. For such a small sized figure, it really is an impressive piece. And I really, really do like it. It's definitely one of the most unique Shoto Super figures that we've had. And what's nice is that, you know, I consider him a ranger. I consider him the sixth ranger of Kaka Ranger, and sometimes Toei does. And so it's really nice, you know, to have a figure that is like this. It's really, really good. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and cut everything off the sprues and take everything out and then we're gonna take a closer look at him. And the completed Ninja Man is now here and this is easily my favorite Shoto Super release so far. So like, of course the big team sets are very, very, very nice, very, very, very pretty. This, this, I just, I love the construction of this figure. Like it just, it feels so solid. It's the joints are nice and easy to move. He has so many good articulation points. You can almost kind of form his like samurai form because the shoulder pads can get out of the way for articulation. It also, like, I feel like the proportions don't look as bad because, like, shoulder super shoulders sometimes just look a little strange. You do have a little bit of limiting there, but, like, in no rotation there, but, like, you still have the ball joint feet there. You can still have, like, a knee bend. You have the torso rotating there and around there and rotating there. So, like, there's a lot of ball jointed head. Like, you can still get a lot of posability out of this guy, and it just feels really solid and it just looks really good because you kind of are covering some of those shoulder joints and weirder looking things. But kind of getting close in there. You can just see the level of detail. It's really nice and shiny. I love the gold paint in there. No stickers is such a nice plus. No stickers. It's fantastic. Like, that's not a sticker. None of it. 
and I am really appreciative of that. So you do have the holster back here, so you can clip this in in a couple of different formats. So here it is like that, and then you could take the full sword, and if you wanted to, line it up, maybe. Actually, that's a lie. So what you can do is not put the entire sword, that's what these are for. So you have a piece to kind of pretend like the sword is in there, and then if you wanted to do a pose where you're sort of beginning to unsheath it, I think that's what this is. Or no, yeah, so this is for if you want to be, you know, there you go, like that. So they kind of pretend that it's starting to come out of there. And then, of course, you have the full sword. And the sword is also very, very nicely painted and detailed, which is always a plus. And, of course, as you can see, he has plenty of hands. And I just kind of gave him two default holding hands. Uh, that way we can just give him the sword, which that kind of fell out there. So you just kind of, you know, sort of pry open the hand a little bit, just enough to slide it through. And there he is holding it, and he's ready to fight whoever you want, depending on whatever show you're pretending this is the version of him from. So, I don't know. It's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. It's going to look great with your Jew Rangers. It's going to look great with your Die Rangers. It's going to look great with your Kaka Rangers. And just for a comparison, uh, here is the Shoto Super Tyranno Ranger from... The Jew Ranger set, which is the most recent one that I took a look at here on the channel, and it's perfect. It really is a perfect, you know, kind of way of having this. It looks like a scene from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I love this figure tremendously. And of course, you do have his little bottle accessory. This is the prison that he's trapped in. And you get the little hammer for breaking him out of there. And you can, I think it goes this way, you can peg in. It's very tiny. So maybe actually this way. Yeah, kind of line it up there. Like I said, it's a little difficult, but you can, there we go, clip the little hammer in there, like so, and you do get a bunch of different hands for pegging in, like the hammer and stuff like that, and there's pointing hands, there's holding hands, there's split open hands, there's fists, there's a lot of different hand options, as per usual with Shoto Super, and like I said, this is my favorite release so far because, of course, no stickers, it looks fantastic, I love the character, I love the attention to detail and the articulation, and it's just a really nice presentation. And then before I wrap it up, I figured people would like a comparison between the Shoto Super Ninja Man from Bandai, Premium Bandai, and we have the Hasbro Retro Ninja that they released a couple of years ago that is Lightning Collection scaled, but obviously not Lightning Collection, like, you know, articulation-wise. So this one, of course, can do the gimmick, as you might have seen in the original Retro Megazord video for that. You can transform that there. You can bring down his little pants. So you can do the full transformation there and back, which is always really nice. And this is a fun figure for that, and I love this figure for just being kind of a simplistic version of the original 90s toy. It's very fun for that, and I quite enjoy having it posed uh, kind of standing next to my Lightning Collection figure. So of course, this is not trying to serve the same purpose as that. Uh, that's kind of what the SMP one would be doing, and I think the SMP one is still only like a little bit bigger than this. Uh, but, you know, kind of a nice little comparison between kind of the more recent Ninja Mans and Ninjors on the market, uh, and kind of the different options that you have out there for whatever figure line that you collect and makes it uh, work the best. And with that, that is going to do it for my video review of the Shoto Super Premium Bandai exclusive Ninja Man from Kaka Ranger. So, I always say this at the end of all these, they're always the very similar wrap-up. I can't recommend this figure line enough if you like Super Sentai figures, if you don't mind the 3.75 inch scaling to it. The only problem is like stickers, you know, that's always kind of the downside and of course the price point for these, but this doesn't have stickers, so this one doesn't have that factor, but this is still pricey. I mean, I still paid like $35 for this and that was like getting a good deal. So it's certainly pricey, I totally get it, uh, but this goes fantastically, like I said so many times with your Kaka Rangers, your Jew Rangers, anybody, and I think it's a great addition to the line that I'm really happy that they made. And uh, it's probably until we get like a Lightning Collection one at like a six inch, the best Ninja Man Ninja that we have ever, well, it's definitely the best one we've ever had, but it's also probably the best one we're gonna ever have uh, for a very long time. So let me know down in the comments below, are you gonna track this down for your Power Rangers collection? Are you gonna track it down for Jew Ranger, for Kaka Ranger, anything about it? It's our first little standalone show super release that I've taken a look at. There are other ones in this line that are like this that are not team packs. Uh, so if you'd like to check out the rest of the Shoto Super line videos here on the channel, that will be linked in the playlist at the end card. And that's going to do it. So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or at LandingFakePR, and I will see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Noberland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics 1017, James Darty, Eric Berry, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CPT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, 
Jesus Prime, Uni Warrior Thomas, and Lewis Carnes. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.